Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, we're going to be adding data store storage to our ESXi host. If you remember in the last video, there was no storage. I want to go, I want to go ahead and show you guys how to add that in case you have that same problem with ESX, ESXi 7. So in this video, we're going to go over that. And remember in the last video, I believe, well, I'm not sure what video it was, but every time I added the, the domain in ESXi as a DNS suffix, it wasn't showing up. I had to do a little workaround, I guess. I don't know if it's a VMware workstation issue or if this is just ESXi 7.0. But if you're ready for the video, please like, subscribe, share. And for everyone that's been sharing my videos, I really, really appreciate you. Like people in my InfoSec community, Kevin IT support, he's awesome. Go check him out. And you know, everyone else who else shares my videos, I really appreciate it. And hopefully we get to collaborate all together sometime. And uh, yeah, so in this video right here, I have my 2022 box. This is my DC. I have a Windows 11, which is my client, and then our ESXi host. And we're pretty much gonna do two tasks in this video. I was gonna do it off camera, but I figured if someone else has this problem, why not just throw it in here, right? And then we'll get into uh, the next subject and all that stuff. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's just uh, move this over. Let's press escape, move this bad boy over here just so I can remember what I'm doing. And we have our ESXi. So let's go ahead and make this bigger. All right, so this is our ESXi. And let's go to our, our uh, domain controller. And let's log into here. Let's log into our ESXi host. And I wanna show you everything that I did. So don't be See now it's fixed, esxi.infosecpath.local. Before it was saying domain.local. And so I was able to fix that. And you have to go into networking. What I did for that, I'll show you guys. I went to networking, TCP stack, default. And then I did uh, action, oh, edit, edit settings, sorry. Edit settings. And I changed it right here. This is where I changed it, okay? So you guys can change it in that same spot. See if it works for you, all right? Like search domains, I wanna get rid of this. I don't care about that. That's not a search domain for me. Let's hit save here. And then we should be good, okay? You know, it has a default route, and then it has our route to 192.168.99, which is our network that I'm using, I'm using for this. Okay, let's go back to storage. All right, before we go into that, let's go to host. And you see here it says storage zero, but if you go here, it says virtual flash. So this is the virtual flash when you install ESXi, right? When you make that partition, that's where ESXi is installed, right? So what I had to do, I had to add another partition to that VM in order to get that storage. But I didn't do that yet. I wanna show you guys how to do it now, okay? So if we go to the ESXi, I right click, I go to settings. If you guys are using VMware Workstation, of course. I had to add a secondary hard drive and I made it 150 gigs, okay? You just hit add, hard drive, next, recommendation, just I put SCSI, that's fine, next, and then I just made it one virtual disk, next, and you put your partition and then I stored it as one data file so it doesn't change and then hit next. I wanna cancel that because I already made it, okay? So once that's made, you boot up your machine, everything is good to go. You're not gonna see it quite yet, as you see here, right? So what we have to do is create that data store with that 150 gigs, in my case, of storage. So we go to data store, more storage, and we see that right here, right? Right here, my secondary. So if I click on this, I put new data store, I'm just gonna put Pat's data store, okay? That's fine with me. I can name it whatever. And then right now I have before, there's nothing allocated to that partition at the moment. And then after it's gonna use VMFS, okay? So let's just use the full disk. I'm gonna use VM, uh, VMS, VMFS6. My bad, that's a tongue twister. Hit next. This is how it's gonna look after. Hit finito. 
And then the entire content of the disk is going to be erased. That's perfectly fine with me. And now we have that partition. Now we have, if we go back to storage or go up to host, now we have that storage here. Now if we go to storage, uh, let's go to data stores. And now I have Pat's data store, browse data store, and we have it here. So now we just tested that configuration. It's not a very difficult process. It can be a little tedious. And I really just wanted to throw that in this video series because I believe someone else may have that same issue. So the point of this video is how to create a data store in VMware Workstation and ESXi 7. All right, so hope, hopefully that's informative for you guys. And I really appreciate every one of you guys. Thank you for sharing. Like I said, please like, subscribe, keep sharing, and let's grow this community together. All right, looking to collaborate with a lot of you guys. You know, it's really, really awesome to be a part of this InfoSec community, cybersecurity community, system administration, system networking, networking, engineering, blah, 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 the whole IT community. So thanks again, everyone. And until next time, see ya.